On 29th March 2019, Xi Jinping went to Paris to meet French President Emmanuel Macron, Angela Merkel of Germany and Jean-Claude Juncker of the European Commission. The motive was clear – to further the deal for an investment treaty that had been hanging for a long time and to talk about a European policy paper that had described China as a systemic rival. But Jinping's main goal was to project a China unafraid to assert its interests. During the meeting, Merkel leaned on her usual diplomatic language to describe the policy paper and said the language showed Europe recognized China's growing strength and influence. Of course, Merkel was trying to win over a belligerent Jinping. Juncker, meanwhile, joked about the EU's inability to agree to what China really was. On the other hand, Emmanuel Macron was insensitive to Jinping's feelings as he unapologetically stated, It's true, you are a rival. According to a Wall Street Journal report, some minute details of the meeting have now come out in the open and have shown who in the EU really harbors the courage to look the paper dragon in the eye and call it out for its behavior. In fact, the report also revealed that at an earlier state dinner hosted by Xi Jinping for EU officials, the CCP General Secretary said, China's state-led model would flourish in a globalized era of free trade. The Chinese dictator also remarked, in a vague reference to Brexit, that Europe was consumed by its slowness of decision-making and that income inequality was fueling populism. Juncker, who also attended the March 2019 meet with Jinping alongside Merkel and Macron, fired back a retort, according to two officials present. He said, what you call slowness, we call democracy. This summer, the EU countries unanimously supported sanctions, a move that was once unimaginable after Beijing had limited the freedoms of Hong Kong. This shows how the EU, despite Merkel's concerted efforts, is taking considerable strides to the effect of making China bleed. Merkel, meanwhile, remains ever dedicated to communicating with Jinping and is pushing to cement an agreement before a new US president takes office. The EU's ambassador in Beijing said at a Beijing Energy Forum earlier this month, what happened during the last year is a massive disruption or reduction in support in Europe and elsewhere in the world about China. And I'm telling that to all my Chinese friends, you need to seriously look at it. Most European leaders earlier in Jinping's tenure saw China primarily as an opportunity, a vast market whose rising stature could help balance US supremacy. But since, backlashes have erupted across the continent, especially in smaller countries such as the Czech Republic and Sweden, where Chinese diplomats' heavy-handed acts have fueled anger and among business leaders who worry about unfair competition with Chinese businesses. This has placed greater pressure on the bigger powers of Europe, including Germany, to stand up for the interests of the continent even though it threatens to blow up from Jinping's China. But since the turn of the year, one European power stood the tallest in the face of Chinese aggression under Jinping all over the globe. France under Macron showed Europe that business can still be maintained while protecting our interests and others from the dubious might of the paper dragon. From blatant criticism to an open physical show of power in the East China Sea and the Indian Ocean, calling out China in Africa and blocking the investment deal, Macron made sure the world recognized that China's might under Jinping is limited and can be challenged. Under Jinping, China's favorability all over the globe has dipped enormously. While smaller states do tend to give it a leeway, they often call other major powers to neutralize any possible Chinese aggression. China's aggressive policies and diplomatic practices have seen it become the least liked country in the world, maybe just above North Korea. And it is no longer seen as a vast opportunity that needs to be appeased, but as a rabid dog that needs to be neutralized.